What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 79th jailbreak update episode. And today we're once again talking about the A12 jailbreak for all 2018 iPhones, the iPhone XS, XS Max, and the iPhone XR, of course on iOS 12. So we're gonna be talking about what all is needed for that A12 jailbreak to be complete, when we could possibly see it, and more. Now I know it's been about a month since my last jailbreak update episode, and the reason for that is because there really just hasn't been a lot going on. And you guys know me, I don't like to make these jailbreak update videos for just like one small piece of news. I like to, you know, gather everything up and then let you guys know after, you know, a week or two goes by. So anyways, the uncovered jailbreak for iOS 12 through 12.1.2 has been out for over a month now for all devices except for the 2018 iPhones. And once again, and I've mentioned this in the past two jailbreak update episodes, but the reason we don't have support for those A12 devices just yet is because we are waiting on Sorek to patch up some things with Substrate. And that does take a little while because of course Sorek is a busy dude. And the Uncovered team wants to make sure that everything is perfect and everything is stable and smooth before releasing this out to the public. Now, with that being said, a couple weeks ago, Pone actually released partial support for A12 and A12X devices. And this came in beta 47 of Uncovered. And you can see here, here, Pwn tweeted out, Uncover version 3 beta 47 is now out with mock swap 2 exploit and SSH only support for A12 through A12X devices. And then on the GitHub page here, you can read a little bit more about this update. And you can see here, it clearly states that this does not include Cydia or Substrate. And it also mentions that SSH only support does not support tweak injection. So you're not going to be able to inject you know, your device with tweaks. You're not going to be able to get tweaks on there at all. And then he lists off a few other things on there as well. But of course, you guys, anybody watching this, most likely you are not going to see any need for this jailbreak. I mean, you're not really going to care about SSHing into your device. Again, you can't get tweaks. You don't have city, you don't have substrate. So really there was no reason for you guys to you know, jailbreak your device with beta 47 of Uncover. So that's the big reason that I did not make a video here on the channel when that did get released because it's not gonna really apply. It's not really gonna matter to most of you guys out there. And then just last week, Pwn gave us an update on what's needed for A12 support, full A12 support. He said, what's left for full A12 through A12X support? And then he lists off two things. Cydia Substrate needs to be updated for Tweak Injection and ARM 64E devices. And then also Unrestrict Library needs to be updated for Sandbox patches on ARM 64E devices, which again, is those A12 through A12X devices. And within just a few days, Pwn actually completed the second tally from that previous tweet and said that a substrate update is all that's needed for full A12 support with Cydia. So yes, Pwn and the Uncover team have fully updated Uncover for A12 devices and all we're waiting on now is Sorek. And as Pone said, Sorek is a busy dude so we just have to stay patient and continue waiting on him to finish up fixing Substrate for A12 devices on iOS 12. And then just a few days ago on April 6th, Pone pushed out an important update to uncover that made it noticeably smoother. And you can see here from the change log on GitHub that this update fixes overnight reboots or system memory resets triggered by maintenance D. It fixes freezing under low memory conditions. It fixes freezing when loading tweaks or when security D is being restarted. It fixes a kernel memory leak. It fixes a faulty sandbox patch and much, much more. This is a huge update. And again, this was just released a couple days ago. So just seeing the continuous work and support on Uncover makes me respect Pwn to Own a lot because it's awesome to see that they're still working on Uncover. Even when A12 support is not here yet, they're still continuing to work on the older devices is, you know, the jailbreak that's currently out and make sure it's as stable as possible. And let me just tell you, it is super stable on my iPhone 10, even a month plus later. I use my jailbroken iPhone 10 multiple times a week and I don't have any random reboots. I don't have overnight reboots. I don't really have a lot of freezing or anything like that. And the best part is that when I do reboot my device or it dies or something like that, Every time I go to re-jailbreak my device using the Uncover application, it jailbreaks the first time, like every single time now. So it's super stable. I don't remember the last time I've had a jailbreak this stable on iOS. So really impressive work. Now, since Uncover is so stable, a lot of people have asked me here on YouTube in the comment section, if it's so stable, why is it still in the beta stages? And to answer that, Pwn actually tweeted out right here saying that he's waiting for full-fledged A12 support before taking it out of the beta stages. Now, obviously going from beta to not beta, like a public release, isn't really going to have an impact on how stable it is. I think it's just, you know, considered beta now, but it's really like a very stable release. So I don't think we're going to see tons of stability improvements or anything just because it goes from beta to public, but it will be nice when we're finally out of beta. So we can stop counting all these beta like 49, 50, whatever. But anyways, another thing that's affecting the jailbreak community right now is the revokes that are happening with third-party app stores like Ignition, Tweakbox, Tutu, applications like that. So these third-party app stores are actually being targeted right now and everything is getting revoked. Their certificates are getting revoked. So a lot of people are not able to jailbreak their devices. And I'll just tell you right now that the safest way to do it is just plug your phone up to the computer and use Cydia Impactor and load up 
you know, uncover on there, then your applications won't get revoked like that. Now, if you don't have a computer, borrow a friend's, go to the library, do something, that's gonna be your only way right now, at least your only, you know, reliable way to get your jailbreak on your device and be able to re jailbreak your device properly. Now, of course, this should not last forever with these third party app stores. I'm sure they'll get back up and working like regular pretty soon, but for the time being, you will need to use your computer and City Impactor if you do want to re jailbreak your device with Uncover. So, in related news, while we're waiting on the A12 jailbreak, the full A12 support with Uncover, Jake James is actually planning on releasing a rootless jailbreak for A12 devices on iOS 12 through 12.1.2, and it's looking like it's gonna be released pretty soon, as you can see here. He's been hinting at it on Twitter lately and keeping us updated on what he has completed and basically what's next to work on. Now, if you guys remember from last year, a rootless jailbreak basically just means we don't have full root access, but we can still install tweaks on our device. And it's actually a pretty safe way to jailbreak. And I say it's pretty safe because without root access, you can't write in any other directory besides var. You can't write in anything outside of the var directory. So it's going to be kind of hard to really mess up your file system or your device. And plus you can delete that data pretty easily. So it's pretty safe there's not really much risk involved in it. So if you want to install tweaks when that does get released, of course, I will make a video when it gets released. You can feel free to, you know, install tweaks on your device. Again, just know that you won't have City or anything like that. You're going to have to manually do it. So it is a process, but it is going to be possible pretty soon. Thanks to Jake James. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much where we stand right now with the A12 support for the upcoming Uncovered Jailbreak. And of course, we do have the rootless jailbreak coming out for A12 devices as well. That is pretty much the latest on everything going on right now. Once again, to recap, Uncover has been fully updated for A12 and A12X support. So it's going to support the iPhone XS, XS Max, iPhone XR, and the new iPad Pro. But the only thing we're waiting on is for Soric to fix up some things with Substrate, and then we will have a full release for A12 devices. And then of course, in the meantime, while we're waiting on that, we're probably going to get the rootless jailbreak for A12 devices, thanks to Jake James. We should get that in the meantime until the full-fledged jailbreak comes out for those A12 devices via Uncover. And of course, I will make a video when that rootless jailbreak does come out, and I will let you guys know, you know, how to install tweaks and things like that as well. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, and if you are waiting on A12 support for the jailbreak, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also leave a comment down below with what device you're on, if you're jailbroken now, if you're waiting, let me know what you're thinking down there in the comment section below. I know I've seen some people say they've updated to 12.2, you know, they're done with waiting and things like that. But really guys, you just need to stay patient. I mean, it really hasn't been that long. Just stay patient. You're gonna get your jailbreak, it's coming. It's definitely coming. You just have to stay patient at this point. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.